Welcome to Wednesday Night Devo. I'm Brent, preacher, First Church of Christ, Caldwell, Ohio. Thanks for joining us. This evening, we're just going to take a moment to uh, cover a few things about the Christmas story that I think you will find interesting, at least I do. When you start the Christmas story, especially in Luke, the second chapter, uh, you have the story of Mary. It starts, And it came to pass in those days there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. The interesting part about that passage for me is the first phrase, and it came to pass. It comes. It came to pass simply means that it happened. The, the newer versions don't use that same wording. They simply say, well, it happened. But it came to pass is just so much more, more meaning to it. Um, it's important to know what the past is. Well, we use different phrasing today for it came to pass. Uh, we say, what well, happened like this? Or back in the old days, this happened. Or we even at Christmas time, we say, um, once upon a time, or twas the night before Christmas. So we know when we hear those words, a story is coming. It came to pass means that what God said would happen has actually happened. Now, history is very important. I'm a big fan of the of history. You know that, especially Revolutionary War. If you know about James Madison and the writing of the Constitution, along with George Washington, it makes our national uh, makes the national politics make a lot more sense today. But it's important for us to know biblical history as well. When we say the Old Testament, we see God preparing the Jewish people for the coming of the Messiah. He prophesied. He told stories. He said, this is going to happen. And then when we get to the New Testament, we get in Matthew and Luke, we have that happening. We have, and it came to pass, that actually happened. Matthew has the story of the lineage of Jesus. For the Jews, that was very important. That proved who he was. Luke tells about Zachariah and Elizabeth. He talks about um, the, the, the angel coming and seeing Mary. Then we have Matthew picking up the story and saying, well, Joseph didn't know this was going to happen, so an angel came to see him. So in Matthew and Luke, we get the entire story of the birth of Jesus so that there aren't any loose ends. If Jesus showed up 33, 33 years old without any credentials, people would think he was a crazy guy. But the Jews have been expecting him for hundreds of years. God said, I'm going to send him. And it came to pass was God's way of saying, yep, here he is. I promised he was coming, and now he has come. Here he is. Pay attention to him. So it has come to pass, or it came to pass, as a very important phrase in the Bible. If you use King James Version, uh, Isaiah, I think, has 30 different phrases, and it came to pass. But if it came to pass, there are a couple other ways we want to look at the word pass. You probably um, have experienced some tough times in your life. We all have tough tough times. Um, marital stress, family stress, not enough money, loss of a job, some sort of a catastrophe that we're not expecting. During those tough times, we say, oh, this is terrible. Life goes faster and faster and faster, except in tough times. Times. But if you're having a tough time tonight, I want to use the word pass for you in a different way. This too shall pass. It's here now, but it's going to go away. You can talk to anybody you know, someone who's older, someone who's lived life. They will tell you that in life you have hard times. And hard times are okay, but they do not last. They will go away. You'll get back on a better way. You'll be stronger for it. You'll be better for it. And you'll be able to see where God walked with you. So it came to pass, me to happen. And this too shall pass is the present. And that is going to be over. But then there's one more thing. Um, and that is that it will come to pass. Something is going to happen in the future. Now think about this month. We've got December coming up in just a few days. And when it comes, we know that we're not far from Christmas. Everyone has a load of things to do this season. You've got parties, you've got events, you've got dinners, you've got family gatherings. We know that uh, we're going to have a 
a hanging the greens thing at church this week we've got the parade we're going to have another live nativity and then christmas is going to come we're going to have our christmas eve service we're going to get the family together for christmas eve maybe on christmas day and we'll have presents and we'll have food make some great memories if the lord tarries we know it will come to pass in isaiah there's a passage where god says where god says these words he says um, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will, I will not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. He is God, he cannot be replaced. Behold, the former things are come to pass. He says, hey, I told you it was going to happen, and it happened. The new things do I declare before they spring forth. Some more things are going to happen, I'm telling you what they are. I tell you of them. Get ready, more good things are coming. Sing unto the Lord a new song. As praise from the ends of the earth. So, it came to pass. This too shall pass. And it will come to pass. If God said all through the Old Testament, the Messiah is coming. Matthew and Luke say, the Messiah is here. The Gospels tell us of Jesus and his life. The Gospels explain all of it to us. And then, then he says, I'm coming back. It means he's coming back. I told you it would come. It came to pass, and it will come to pass again. So in the midst of Christmas, all the fun, all the joy, all the decorating, remember, Jesus is the reason we do this. He is the Messiah. So let's pray, let's stay together, let's worship together, give him the praise, glory, and honor. Don't forget, uh, Saturday we have a funeral dinner at 2.30 at the church following uh, the funeral. We have a Christmas parade uh, Saturday night. Uh, the kids need to be at church at 5, hanging to the greens dinner at 5 on Sunday. So lots of things going on. Have a great evening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.